hi guys welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another speed build video today i am bringing you a dream home decorator home which as the name implies was built using the dream home decorator objects from the newest game pack uh, it's coming to you a little late because it took me a while to finalize the video but nonetheless it's here and that's what matters also i am still having trouble with the voiceover uh program that i use which is da vinci to you know when i record the voiceover it actually doesn't show me the video it just gets stuck in a in a screen <laughs> and i cannot actually see the video as i record the voiceover so things might get a little bit i don't know dissociated detached i don't know the word for it you know but the, well long story short i cannot see <laughs> what i built as i record this but i think it doesn't matter because uh, you can actually see from the video what was built i don't think i need to describe everything in detail you guys are pretty smart to say no and yeah but like i said i decided to do um, this build with the newest game pack and uh, base game only just to i think it's a bit challenging when you actually use less packs you know because you're trying to get a, a nice look and a vibe with less objects to choose from and to mix and match but still uh often i think a lot of my builds come out pretty nicely when i just use a limited number of packs so i decided to give it a try here so i built the shell all base game and i furnished it with the dream home decorator objects there wasn't much in build mode for from this pack it was mostly um yeah objects you know furniture and stuff like that so there wasn't there wasn't a base game update when it comes to as far as i remember a base game update for, with new building options like platforms like we got for snowy escape or anything like that so i just built the shell before the pack even came out and i didn't do any changes afterwards and i mostly just furnished it using the um, the, the pack so if i remember correctly i built this in a 30 by 20 lot in willow creek and it's a relatively i guess it's a medium sized house uh very modern uh a bit boxy to be honest uh but yeah so in the ground floor we have a very large living room uh, which is the entrance of the where the entrance of the house is and then they're separated in another area there's a uh, a second living room which also acts as a dining room and I'm pretty proud of the second living room here because it's sunken you know so you notice that you have to go down a, a few steps to get there and but I I really liked how it turned out and of course behind the the dining room in that area we have the kitchen which is also quite modern, quite contemporary, uh, mostly I just used um, the new kitchen set from this game pack and I usually don't do very modern houses, it's not really my style, uh, like the contemporary specifically, uh, but and to be honest i wasn't too happy about the objects in this game pack i think they kind of looked a bit like cc in the sense that they didn't match alpha cc i suppose they didn't match the um, the rest of the objects in the game you know so i think they just had a different they were just different i, I can't quite put my finger on it but they don't feel that their visuals don't feel like the rest of 
the ones in the scenes, you know, and I don't know if that was intentional. They just wanted to make objects with a different uh, visual style. And I, I guess that that's good, you know, because it brings a bit of diversity to the to the objects. But I think they kind of does don't match the um, it's difficult to match them with what we had already. Right. And uh, one of the things I really like about the scenes, you know, is that you spend all this money in these game packs and what I like is when the the game packs and expansion packs or whatever, they interact really well with each other, right? For example, like the Realm of Magic pack m goes really well with Paranormal, you know, you got like Moodlet if you're a spellcaster and you're y doing paranormal stuff and things like that but I think this pack is very much the objects at least are very much um, on their own you know they don't really you can mix and match them with anything else in my opinion but I know that lots of people are super happy with this pack it is not my favorite in the sense that building houses was something that we already had to begin with and now I guess you have an active career to do just that but for other sims not your active household which is cool I mean it's always welcome to have uh, new active careers to play with but I to be honest they didn't the game pack doesn't add much to the gameplay per se aside from that so I was a bit disappointed in in that sense and I I haven't even played the the interior designer career to be honest, but I didn't <laughs> see very good reviews about it in the sense that it's a bit uh, it doesn't really seem to matter what you build, and the uh, the sims will always like it and go crazy about it so that's a bit of a shame you know and, and I read somewhere that um, it is actually quite realistic in the sense that sometimes an interior designer has to deal with a household with several people and they all have their different tastes and interests and likes and dislikes and that's more or less what you get here in the sense that you are trying to please a bunch of different sims with different likes and dislikes at the same time and that's actually the experience that a lot of interior designers have in real life life so um, I guess that's good but on the other hand like they they gave us the likes and dislikes system which is great and it adds a lot of personality to the sims but apparently <laughs> like what is relevant to the interior designer career like colors and taste in decor is not always what you find out when you are talking to your clients maybe you find out that they actually like hip-hop rocket science and fishing and what are you supposed to do with that when you have to <laughs> to come up with a space for them and not much I mean like you're not gonna put a pond in the middle of the living room I hope or much less a, a rocket in there so yeah but I, I'm saying all that and I haven't even played it and I don't know if it is actually fun to do it <laughs> so but that's just first impressions I'm actually I think saving this career for when I get a bit bored with gameplay and I just want to try something different you know so I didn't want to go and play it right away I was just saving it for later you know especially uh, as I'm recording these there is exactly 29 days until the next expansion pack drops the um, cottage living and I really want to talk about that today as well because I am super excited for it I 
ever since I was playing The Sims 2, I've always had a family that of farmers, right? So uh, just the idea of buying a big lot and growing lots of crops and living off the land and selling off these crops and so on. And I think, I suppose it was quite possible to do it, you know, because you could grow veggies and fruit and, and so on already with base game. But now there is an expansion pack dedicated just to that. And I'm really excited because we're also going to get some farm animals, you know. Although we are only getting chickens, cows, and llamas for whatever. I guess llamas is like some iconic Max's um, animal. And so it made sense that they included them. But I was expecting horses, to be honest. And... I didn't play with horses in The Sims 3 because I, I barely played The Sims 3 at all, but I was really looking forward to getting them on The Sims 4 eventually and this pack would be perfect for it. And I think it's really a shame that uh, this is not included and we got llamas instead. Um, so yeah, I, th I think it was a bit frustrating, but I don't know. I haven't seen anything about how how much you can actually customize these farm animals like I know you can give them clothes and and you know like you can give a vest to a chicken <laughs> and you can have a rainbow cow and maybe uh, we'll be able to edit the um, the llamas to at least look like horses I hope um, you know just to have the visuals because with cats and dogs we have so much freedom uh, in the um, to create them and so m many different looks to come up that i've seen in the gallery like sheep and you all you already have raccoons and foxes but i've seen uh sheep cheetahs and all sorts of animals and farm animals that maybe with this pack we'll be able to create create even more and have more choice in that sense and maybe you won't be able to ride the horses but at least you have something that look like a horse in your farm and that's pretty cool and of course this new uh, expansion pack also comes with a new world which is Hanford on Bagley on Badgley or something like that and pretty excited about that too it looks super cute there will be a bunch of rivers and streams and lakes for sims to swim apparently not in the ponds that we're getting like the pond too apparently they will be able to splash on the borders but not actually swim in the ponds which again is a shame and I suppose it was difficult to implement or something but well we're not getting fully swimmable ponds as it seemed like in the trailer but I think we can make we've been making do with pools for that for quite a while and you know people have these ways of like by putting a bunch of rocks and grass and cutler um not cutlery <laughs> clutter around the pools they can actually make them look like lakes and ponds and and the sims can swim on the on those anyway so yeah and and then there there are the the swimmable places in hanford on back julie that we're getting as well I would like to see something like because there there's actually water in a lot of the worlds, right? We have river, rivers in Willow Creek, we have lakes in Oasis Springs, and we also have the sea not only in Sulani but also in Windenburg. It would be really nice if the Sims could swim there. Uh, I don't know how complex it would be to you know do these. Well, I suppose it would be quite complex to overhaul the whole thing and make all the water, or at least 
more bodies of water swimmable around the roads uh, that would be pretty cool but um, I know we're not getting that but if you're listening Maxis maybe sometime in the future or for the Sims 5 make all the water swimmable that would be really cool and of course we are also getting rabbits which are extremely like I can't even describe how cute they are and I, th I suppose there were some birds on the trailer too apparently you can sing to attract birds much like a Disney princess <laughs> uh, that was quite cute as well but I don't know if you'll be able to do much else with the birds uh, aside from the the chickens right which you can grow them for eggs and so on and um, yeah so that's coming uh, and and I think from the trailer the rabbits will play a really important role in the um, in how you will tend to your farm you know apparently they will be able to bring you gifts and you can leave you leave food out for them or something like that so and in the very last scene of the trailer you see uh, the rabbit going down a, a sort of not a rabbit uh, hole but a hole in a tree trunk you know so maybe there is something hidden or something like a hidden map or a hidden a hidden lot right or some occult i don't know some sort of i don't know maybe sims that can turn into animals a lot of people were asking for fairies 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 but maybe we'll get um what's the word a shapeshifter you know an a, a coat that can turn into a dog or a cat if you have those packs or maybe a rabbit or a fox if you have the cottage living pack so that would be interesting too because i don't think we ever had that sort of a coat before as far as i can remember except for vampires that can turn into bats um and werewolves i suppose which are like half human half wolf but not full animal but yeah maybe we'll get a new coat and and that would be quite nice to see aside from that uh we will probably uh this expansion pack will be i suppose the last big thing they will release during the um, summer of sims right but in the rest of the year we'll probably get at least another expansion pack maybe another stuff pack as well and i'm already thinking about those to be honest um uh, i loved 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 snowy escape from what i seem so far cottage living will be great as well and so I think they're doing a really great job with expansion packs. Like I said before, I'm not super happy with this, the newest game pack. And I definitely wasn't happy with the Star Wars one. So looking forward to get like a really cool game pack in the future. And, and they did an amazing job with Paranormal as well. I think that that stuff pack was just incredible. The amount of things we got when it comes to create a sim the beautiful uh build by objects you know and a new career a new lot type uh, and so on so i think that was super cool especially if you compare it to other stuff packs like luxury party looking at you or perfect patio <laughs> or romantic garden you know that we just got objects you know with paranormal we got lots and lots of gameplay and I think that was pretty amazing and I think The Sims 4 after so many years has reached like a maturity level and they are really taking player feedback which is super important and they're really giving us what we want of course with such a diverse and big fan base they're not going to please everybody every time but overall, 
I'm pretty happy with the money I have spent, all a lot of money that I have spent on The Sims, on the latest uh, packs, you know, and and Star Wars excluded, out in no shade. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed the speed build. I am working hard to try to make the videos at least once a week and I have been failing miserably at that <laughs> but I promise that I'm preparing some new content and some new stuff and if you like this video please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want feel free to leave a comment and take a look at our other videos as well uh, we have cast videos, we have gameplay videos, and we have lots of speed builds too. Uh, all of these builds are in the gallery and many others that didn't make it to a video that you can find in, our, in my account as well. And I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon. Bye bye.